guys, it's Scott here and welcome to this week's set of rewards video. Hopefully you do enjoy this one. If you do, as per usual, please do hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you're new. If you want to see daily streams and videos, we're streaming basically everything to do with FIFA, whether it's packs, foot champs, rewards, all of that good stuff. And we stream for like six hours every day. So if you are new, make sure you join the channel. And again, thumb it up to show your support. This is the team that we're going to be going into the next weekend league with. Um... I used, I, I basically stopped at gold three uh, for the set of rewards I'm about to open because I couldn't be bothered to play anymore. Nedved was unreal and I used Felix instead of Griezmann and he was a lot of fun. However, I saw that this Griezmann was affordable and so I actually sniped him for about 110,000 coins less than he's going for, which is amazing. So we're testing him out this weekend league. He smashed it in Div Rivals. And I plan to play on both consoles this weekend because we're going to get the extra player pick. So next week's rewards should be even better. I don't think they're in the objectives just yet. It doesn't look like it. But basically, I will get an extra red pick if I get like 10 wins. If you then get, I think it's like 18 wins. And then if you get 24 wins, you get an extra pick for each of those levels, which is sick. So that's what we're aiming for in the upcoming Weekend League. Hopefully the servers aren't going to be as bad as they were for the weekend just gone, which is why I only played to Gold 3. But I'm looking forward to Griezmann. So, we have been um, chilling this week. Again, I only played to Gold 3. I think I've got like Rank 2 or Rank 3 in Div Rivals. We've been chilling and trying to play some drafts and see how we can do on those. So, it's been a lot of fun and hopefully... We can uh, then somehow just scam ourselves something really good in Div Rival Rewards. So, we'll start off with this, and then we'll do Foot Champs. Um, we're going to take these. Two 50k packs, two Megas, and two 15ks is nice. So, Rank 2 is what we got. Hopefully we can get something that is half decent. I could save these till tomorrow, but I can't be bothered. So, again... If you haven't already, thumb it up and sub, and let's start things off with some 15k packs. I would like to get three boards from these six packs. I'd be happy with that. Um, that would be amazing. Or at least one walkout would be sick. Hopefully I'm not going to get an insane amount of dupe untradables. Because that would be a bit of a problem, but our rare is to start things off. Whoa, look at that though. 2,000 coins, lovely. Is he a dupe untradeable? He is. But then we get a gold pack as well. So even though we're discarding 600 coins, we're going to make that back in whatever we open up here. So, lovely. If you want the rare to be Prime Moments Pele. No? Okay, not a rare player. I see how it is, EA. I see how it is. That's fine. If you want to give me a Hunter or a Shadow, that'd be great. Nope, fine. Uh, but we can sell those. Uh, we can discard those. And discard those and get a squad fitness out of it. So, happy days. That was definitely worth it. 15k pack up next is going to give us... Anything good? It's a board. Is that a team of the week moment? It's just a, a trashy one. It is. It's... Hubner. A guy that I would never, ever use because he looks tragic. So that is um, a player that I can whack into some kind of SBC that requires either Team of the Week or Team of the Week moments. 82 rated is not bad for that. Uh, I obviously did Terraps the other day. So to, to get some cards back that potentially would have gone into an SBC like that is very, very nice. So that would save me 10k if I wanted to do any kind of SBC like that. No great chem styles or position modifiers, unfortunately. But... Really not the end of the world. He's tradable, which is perfect. So is he. This is why I'm trying to get as rid... I'm trying to get rid of as many of the untradable trash players that you're most likely going to get dupes of when I can in SBCs now. So, two Mega Packs, then two 50Ks before we open up our tradables. Is that another board? It is. It's going to be a walkout. You love to see it. It's Italian. It's a centre-back. It is. Bonucci! Okay, it would have been lovely if it had been Chiellini. Again, because most walkouts at this point in the year are just prime SBC fodder. So it would have been nice to get that extra three ratings, but Bonucci's still solid, so I got my walkout. Happy with that. We obviously got our board in the other pack as well, so that's nice. 
Uh, we do get two squad fitnesses, which is lovely. Do we get any dupes? We do. I'm pretty sure he's untradeable. Oh, he's not. Hey, look at this. We're actually getting rid of some of these. It's always Benucci. It always does seem to be Benucci. If you wonder who I'm talking to, if you're watching this as a video, we are live streaming our rewards as we do every week. So again, if you're not already, make sure you are subbed with the notification bell turned on so you can see our six plus hour live streams every day and thumb them up as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now this is another board. It's another walkout. Uh. Oh, okay, Joshua Kimmich. I mean, to be fair, when it comes to high-rated teams, that is a really, really good and tradable to have. And the reason I say that is because high-rated left and right backs are not very common, and they're normally pretty damn expensive. So to get him to link to, I don't know, maybe a Sule or someone like that is really, really good. He's a lot better than other 86s that I could have picked up there. So I will take that. Uh, another squad fitness. And then some more dupes. Coates I pack all the damn time. I need to use him in every single SPC that I can. Because he is one of the most common players that I get. Same with this dude. So I need to, I need to make a mental note of that and try and do that going forward. So two walkouts back to back is sick. Now we've got two 50k packs. Can these give us the same fortune as we have just had? Um, no, we don't even get a board from the 50k pack. I mean, it's just not surprising at all, is it? Not surprising whatsoever. Oh, okay. So, we actually get two boards, but they're just hidden behind these three no-names because of the stupid way that EA have done their packs this year, where it's just a completely broken system. That's not bad, an 85 and an 84. I've basically got back today in my untradables more than I submitted for Tarapt. So, we're, we're in profit in terms of untradables in like the last week. And that's at least a board as well. It's going to be... Alan? Artur, now, do I already have him? I'm honestly not too sure. I'm not too sure. Okay, sick. Pickford as well. Uh, this is a lot of dupes. I'm pretty sure I literally just got Rafa. But I think we've done okay, to be fair. Considering we're doing icon swaps and other objectives in Div 4 right now, not sitting in the, the lofty heights of Div 1, getting ultimate packs and stuff. Um, for rank 2 in Div 4, we actually did pretty damn well out of that. We're now going to claim these foot champs rewards, which, as I say, I stopped at gold 3. Okay. So, again, if you haven't already, please make sure you support today's stream and video. Thumb them up, subscribe. Let's go. That's better than I expected from Gold 3. Daita, uh, we will happily take and get him in the club. Most likely, like, basically, the whole team of the week, I, pro I didn't even show it in this video. Let me quickly show you how tragic the players are that we can get this week. It's so bad. It's these. Right? So, he has a better card. He has a better card. He's trash. He's trash. He's got a better card. He's got a better card. He's trash. That's who we just got. He's trash and has a better card. He's trash. Undili's the only one that isn't, like, completely unusable because of the way the game plays or that doesn't have an already better card. So... I'm not expecting to get anything good today because there isn't really anything good to be able to get. So the second one is going to give us... Paulson. A again, like, just... <sighs> poor. Absolutely poor. So we'll take him, and they are not going to be used at all this year. They will go straight into an 86 upgrade. However, I am multiple weeks away from being able to do that. So let's open up our tradable two mega packs and 50k pack to end off today's rewards video and hope that it can give us something sick. That is a board, correct? No walkout though. Goodness. Goodness sake. It's Pavlenka. Do we get anything else 
in here. I guess it's nice, counter centre mid sells. Uh, it's nice to get a couple of tradable players back into our club because we haven't had them for so long. Another mega pack, I would love to get some squad fitnesses, a shadow, a hunter, something like that. Because uh, that is not a board, so good consumables is all we can really hope for here. No. No. Not great, sadly. That is not what we were looking for. But now we've got one 50k pack to end it off. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumb it up. Obviously, if you're watching this as a stream, it's going to continue for like three more hours. And we're going to end it off with a non-walkout. So again, not surprising. We are going to get ourselves... Jonathan Tarr, a uh, bang average 83 rated card. Amazing. So, yes, thank you very much for watching today's rewards video. Again, if you're watching this at any point before 7 o'clock, we're still going to be streaming. So, come and check out the stream uh, and, yeah, subscribe if you're new and want to see more streams and videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys for another one next week or another video tomorrow. Goodbye.